Merry Christmas, Homie Nation. Or a Happy New Year. And if you're not watching it by then, then hello everyone. d Radicate Xer. Bring it to you, my year review. Now, if any newcoming subscribers are scratching their head as to wondering what I do for my year review, I basically reminisce and go through on what the year has been for the channel and for me in general and what's there to come coming the next year. I do want to clarify that my review may be a bit long and rambly than usual. That's because there might be a lot to cover. So, make sure you're sat back and relaxed and you've got a nice warm cup of tea in hand as we need to begin the year review. Without further ado, let us begin. Starting off with the records that we have broken this year, Homie Nation. This has been the year that has gotten the most amount of views this year, with a whopping 3,174. And we have also broken the record for the most likes that we've broken this year, coming in at a whopping 148. The spa. Also on most uploads this year, coming in at 77, and most shared videos also coming in at 77, which I want to thank Tristan for near enough for uh, sharing uh, my videos in the Rat Kingdom. Furthermore, my top three most uh, viewed videos that we have done this year comes at first place, which is my Goodbye Volcano High review, which also gets the record for being my most viewed review for the channel. Also gets the award for the most likes thus far on this channel. And is the first video to ever hit double digits in likes. Which I kind of got to say, Goodbye Volcano High Review has got a lot under its belt. And one permanent title now. In second place is my Captain Tazabaya Review. And at third place it is Season Episode 8. Further more than that, we have gained a whopping 72 new subscribers since last year, ranging from first place being from the United States, second being from the United Kingdom, and for third place uh, in Indonesia, which I don't know who that person is, but if you are, uh, hi, congratulations on coming in third place though. So thank you all for the records that we have broken this year. Update time. On what's to come in the next year. Now, I did state in my 200 sub special that there would be a new look for the channel. I am happy to report that it is finished off and finally completed. But I will not be showing the new look until January 1st. However, though, if you are interested in checking them out early, I will be posting them coming Christmas Day as a nearly enough early Christmas present for you all. So if you want to know, see what the new design looks like for the channel, make sure to join the Rat Kingdom. Furthermore than that, I would like to thank one person in particular who has nearly enough made the design for the channel, which goes to uh, Serenity. Uh, I had this man working in my cellular almost 24-7, uh, I gave him no food, uh, I gave him no time to sleep, like my guards were at his ass 24-7, but you are, you are happy to know that uh, he has been frankly paid and is now let out from the cellar and is now a free man. So if you could, please go check out his channel, and if you need enough want a design for yourself, uh, make sure to message him because he'll happily... Uh, do a design for you at nearly enough a fair and cheap price. So, Serenity, on behalf of the Homie Nation, I thank you. Daily. Moving on from that, I will still continue doing Shadow of Mordor and Final Fantasy X. But I am sadly to tell you all, we are approaching Endgame on Final Fantasy X. And also Shadow of Mordor. When Shadow of Mordor is done, I will plan on doing another game to replace that. As per Final Fantasy X, I don't know whether or not to continue and do Final Fantasy X 2, or do another game that I really enjoyed doing back when I was just a wee Wittata. So I'll let you be the judge on what I should do once Final Fantasy X is done. 
Uh, speaking of other things, rat news. I am going to be postponing rat news for the time being. It's just because I have a hard time on literally trying to make stuff up to then give to editor Eradicate X for him to basically put on his news career. Because basically he's not doing all of that, that's more or less me. So I'm going to put that on the shelf for the time being. It's not going away, I'm just going to be putting it on the shelf for the time being. It will come back, just not for a very long time. Moving on, reviews. I am in the works on nearly enough making five or six reviews. And I do hope uh, that you do give me time when it comes to making these reviews. Because one, I do take one to two weeks to get my full project opinion to go through the good and the bad on that review. Also, the reviews that I want to do for the channel, they're going to cost me a, an arm and a leg to do, and your man's not made of money. So, please understand, and please bear with me on those reviews that I do. And finally, to end off the updates, I am hoping to now do two videos a week on a series. So... Right now I'm doing Shadow of Mordor and Final Fantasy X. When I next come back to YouTube, which will probably be on January, you will receive probably two videos of Final Fantasy X. And then the next week, I'll either do one video on Final Fantasy X and one video on Shadow of Mordor, or two videos more on Final Fantasy X, and then we move on to Shadow of Mordor. So you might get four videos, of one series instead of your usual three. I won't however class in reviews or other things that I might do for the channel to count towards that so who knows you might get three or maybe four videos a week on that so who knows you might get lucky so that is something I'm hoping to do coming the next year and I would really like to know your opinion on that too. And with that, that is everything to cover for the updates. Now, for the goals that I set myself uh, for this year, I kind of did succeed on that, but also failed as well. Which was to get the channel to 200 subscribers, which we succeeded in that. And that was a time to rejoice. But I did fail one of the end goals, which was to do a collab with another YouTuber. Now, I was in the works on doing something like that. I was planning on doing a, a Let's Play with Justin JMS on a game called Kingdom. But the thing was, though, that... Um, me and Justin are, well, how do I put this in words, boomers, and the stuff that we talk about probably wouldn't be related to the game, and the game itself is a bit tedious than that, and more or less we wouldn't be, quote, uh, talking at all, so I kind of like put that in the bin, Justin, if you are watching that, I am sorry. And I didn't know anyone else to probably do a collab with. I might have done more with MJ. I mean, hey, MJ, if you're watching this, if you're interested in doing a collab with me, hey, hit me up. So, there was that going for me. But, my next year's goals, I'm hoping to do a collab with another YouTuber. Whether it's Justin or MJ... Or who knows, maybe someone else. I don't know, maybe Serenity. Or maybe Leaf. Or Cosmic for that matter, I, I don't know. So hopefully I can do that. Hopefully we can get the channel to 300 subscribers. I mean, heck, if I if I get the channel to 300 subscribers, I, I don't know I don't know what I should do. I'll, I'll let you lot be the decider of what I should do if we get to 300 subscribers. But I would say my other goal I would probably want to do, so this time I'm doing free... I would probably like to host a competition or a tournament. The, a one where you guys, the homie nation, could probably get involved in. 
and the winner of that tournament would probably receive a small cash prize on winning the whole competition. So let me know your thoughts on that if you are interested in probably participating in a little competition. I don't know what yet, but who knows, maybe one might be knocking around the corner. But for this year in general, it has been hands down the best I have ever done since the six years I've been on YouTube. We've had no incidents with any drama regarding last year. We won't talk about that. We moved from four to five, which we celebrated and so long to the jet engine of the PS4. I completed two playthroughs season, which one episode botched up and gave birth to another series known as Rat News. Tales of Iron, which was a review a game which I was hoping to do for the channel regarding a rat playing as a rat while you were rat watching a rat play as a rat in a game where you play as a rat ratception going on here and not to mention the amount of reviews that I did on uh, Captain Tezabaya Route 96 Mile Zero Goodbye Volcano High Wallander even Goody Two Shoes and for anyone here uh, that knows the developers of Little Goody Two Shoes. Can you please send this clip to them right now? I will probably put it up on the screen and ask them if they could fix this because right now I cannot even enjoy the game right now. So I'll be greatly appreciated if uh, anyone could do that and whatnot. But during the end of uh, this year, I have kind of probably made some videos that have not been the best this year and i do want to apologize if you have seen these videos to be kind of like not what they used to be or what they usually be because in my eyes i do f see them as pretty much bad when in reality i pretty much only do YouTube to probably make someone's day, make someone smile or make someone laugh. If anyone like likes on my video or leaves a comment, it just lets me know that I've kind of literally made their day. And I know I can do better when it comes to my content, my playthroughs, my reviews, and I nearly enough want to try to strive to put 110% in every video that I do going forward and that. And see how far we, as a nation, can nearly enough push through and rise up to the top from being a bottom class YouTuber to nearly enough a low class YouTuber. And maybe even a mid or high tier or up there with the big timers. I mean, who knows? We might even get a play button or two. I don't know. We just have to see on how far we can go until YouTube tells us, now fam, you gotta go. Or basically enough, some hackers come and they do the job myself. Or, something ends up might happen to me and I pass my throne on to someone else. Probably Justin. But yeah. I hope uh, to do more in the future. And I hope you can join me again on another weird and wacky adventure coming the next year. But... With now everything out the way, and before I near enough send us all off, I near enough want to give a special thanks to a few special people uh, this year. First off, I again would like to thank uh, Zerenity on helping me make the design and him working his butt off on that. So Zerenity, if you are watching this, again, thank you. I will leave a link to your channel in the description. Furthermore, I would like to thank one of my good time friends, uh, Galaxy Diamond. Galaxy, if you are watching this, thank you for putting up with me for almost two years and that. And finally, I would like to enough give a special thanks to also MJ Games and Cosmic Ock. And I hope to see basically you two strive as well in the future as well. But the most person I want to enough thank is you. Nomination. Whether you are a old G member that's been around for these past six years, or in between the middle, or just 
joining. Thank you for joining me on this weird adventure. Now, there is a tea glass in hand, homie nation. I would near enough like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And with that being said, for the final time this year, peace. DX is out and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.